Okay, so, you know, maybe we'll start with you, Tony. You're a political veteran. You've been to many conventions. And, and before we, we got started here, we were chatting about how you were actually one of the, or the, the key glue that kind of brought the two parties together when there was a, a split, for lack of a better term. Do you want to share a little bit about the history of, of the party, the Conservative Party of Canada in the last 20 years? Well, certainly there were a lot of uh, cooks in the kitchen for that. I was one of them. I was the founding president of the Canadian Alliance, which was the first attempt to bring the two parties together. Uh, it had limited success, but it did pave the way eventually for the eventual reuniting of the parties. And uh, certainly there was, uh, at the time, uh, it was an open question whether it would ever happen. And the reason, one of the reasons it had to happen was because it was very clear election after election, that a divided Conservative Party in different camps could not overturn a Liberal majority in Parliament. So uh, after a while, I think uh, people got desperate enough that they wanted to see a change of government, that they buried the hatchet and, uh, and the new United Conservative Party of Canada was formed. Right. And I do remember a little bit of the climate at the time, because I was sort of just getting involved in politics in the 90s. And I remember that the Reform Party sort of grew out of this, uh, the West wants in kind of sentiment. And uh, I guess they felt that their their views or their their interests were not being properly represented in, in Ottawa. Do you see a similarity here right now, Tony, with uh, a lot of concerns about, you know, the cancellation of Line 5, you know, not enough uh, support federally with, with uh, you know, various pipeline projects? What, what do you see that might parallel? Well, certainly the current Liberal government uh, is uh, walking in the footsteps of Pierre Elliott Trudeau. Uh, back in those days, it was the national energy policy. Uh, and... Uh, as Preston Manning said on my show recently, it was also the Mulroney government, unfortunately, which uh, uh, chose uh, a Quebec site to build CF-18s rather than the Winnipeg Manitoba site. So th there was a lot of Western grievances at the time, is what I'm trying to say. Mm -hmm. uh, and I would say that the Trudeau government is not showing much love to the uh, economic aspirations of the Prairie provinces in particular. So yeah, I think there's a lot of grumbling and grievance. So there's a there's a referendum on equalization a plan for the fall in Alberta that uh, could uh, tear at, uh, at uh, what the glue of the, of the federation, if you will. So uh, I think that uh, you're going to see some of that rhetoric at the convention. Absolutely. Now, Dean, let's get to you. You were elected with the first wave, if you will, under the new party banner, the Conservative Party of Canada. Uh, that was 16 years ago, well, actually almost 17 years ago now. Uh, how has the party changed since, I guess, its rebirth, if you will, in 2004 till now? Well, I think, you know, you know, being in power, so we started in 2004 in opposition as a minority. Uh, then we got to be in government as a minority government in six and eight. And I, I think, you know, we saw some great governance under Stephen Harper and, and Tony was in cabinet. So he was a part of that as well. And I think the party really gelled. It's tough when you have a big tent to have everyone all together and to make sure that they're all rowing in the same way. It's, it's tough because there's, there's social conservatives, there's fiscal conservatives, uh, there's red Tory, the list goes on and on. And so I think Stephen Harper did a great job making that happen. And that's always a delicate balance, in my opinion, from what I, what, from what I can see on the ground. Yeah, I remember those days of uh, frequent elections back in the, in the mid to late 90s, or mid to late 2000s, rather. Um, you mentioned that there are a lot of different, I wouldn't say, fa I'm going to say the word factions, it's not the right word, but factions within the party. And it and it's, it's quite the task for a leader or for the party executive to really kind of keep everybody under that big tent. And then you mentioned a few uh, in the Conservative Party of Canada.